Hello everybody, just Biotech Geeks here. With respect to the previous lecture on PCR, this lecture would focus on the common types of PCR used in many fields of study. Just a small introduction on why PCR is done. This is a molecular technique which is employed so as to amplify the gene of interest using primers and tuck polymerase. The main purpose is to increase the copies of your gene of interest, which is then used for research and diagnostic purposes. Around 30 to 40 types of PCR are currently available, out of which we would be focusing on some of the most frequently used ones. This is a list of many PCR techniques used, and they might vary based on the template or the process that occurs for evaluating the end product and so on. The first type that we are about to see is the assembly PCR, which is also known as polymerase cycling assembly. It is a technique which involves the assembly of short overlapping segments to form long oligonucleotides. Assembly PCR can be used to assemble two gene-sized pieces of DNA into one piece for easier cloning of fusion genes or paths. It involves two steps. First step involves a set of primers and the second PCR step involves primers which aid in elongation of the previously created copy. An important modification known as Gibson assembly is done instead of the conventional method. Here T5 exonuclease is used so as to chew back the complementary ends which creates a 40 base pair overlap. As the reaction takes place at around 50 degrees Celsius, T5 exonuclease after its action is degraded. Then fusion polymerase and intact DNA ligase is used to ligate the overlaps of the two strands forming a final long strand. The next type of PCR is the colony PCR. It is used for screening recombinants from bacterial, bacteriophage or yeast transformation products. It is a fast and reliable method. The number of colonies produced or plaques seen could be assayed simultaneously. It's a method used for cDNA library screening. In this particular technique, the screen colonies are subcultured and these colonies are dipped into the reaction mixture containing the components with a micropipette tip or a toothpick. The PCR is done with an additional setting of cell lysing at 94 degrees Celsius before the loop begins. This aids in releasing the DNA into the mix due to cell lysis. The PCR is carried out and the results are then checked on a gel using gel electrophoresis. Hot start PCR is a technique where the conventional PCR follows a heat step. In many cases, during mixing of all the components, TAC polymerase might be active at room temperature or even on ice. This might lead to non-specific primer annealing, which could lead to lower product yield. So this technique reduces non-specific binding. It takes place as three types, manual, semi-automated or automated methods. In a manual method, all essential components of the reaction mixture are added only after heating it to elevated temperatures. In a semi-automated method, the primers, buffers, DNTPs are mixed together at room temperature at the bottom of the PCR tube which is then separated from the other components using melted wax like AmpliVax PCR gems. When the wax layer melts upon heating during the denaturation step, it mixes the two layers allowing a fully active reaction to occur. In the automated method, antibodies specific to the TAC polymerase are seen bound to the TAC polymerase. This deactivates the TAC until 72 degrees Celsius is reached. After 72 degrees Celsius, the antibody is degraded allowing the TAC to function. Different TAC DNA polymerases with antibodies or ligands are commercially available. Example, AmpliTAC Gold DNA polymerase, TAC Start, Platinum TAC polymerase, etc. The last type in part 1 
is the inside a PCR. The main advantage of this technique is that PCR process takes place inside the cells or tissues. This enables us to carry out the PCR inside the cell and then detect the products produced within the cell. The cells or tissues are laid on slides which can later be then examined. So that's all for PCR types part 1. Stay tuned for part 2.